name is Jessica Aguirre, uh, and I have the unfortunate luck of having to follow that. <laughs> Some of you may know me from my day gig, my weekday gig, which is a newscaster at 6 and 11 o'clock for NBC Bay Area News. And then some of you may know me from my more recent gig, which is as the weekend anchor of a new show that we have that we've had since the fall called Class Action. It's a half hour show dedicated solely to the topic of education in California. Mr. Thompson, we need you on that Prop 13 show. We tape Wednesday nights at uh, 7.30, so I'll be giving you a call. <laughs> One of my uh, guests, a frequent guest on the show has been Mohammed Chaudhry, which he has been a fabulous, fabulous representative to the Silicon Valley Education Foundation, and we've had great shows together. Um, and uh, I think we've worked so well together by this point that Muhammad knows he's been urging me to step up to algebra and take the course this summer. Because <laughs> at this point he knows that is not my forte. Uh, but I, we have done shows on step up to algebra, we've done shows on Less Sinopoly, and all the work that the Silicon Valley Education Foundation is working on. So before we begin, I'm here to be the enforcer. Uh, we're going to play, in a few minutes, we're going to play a little game called Last Donor Standing. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. Uh, but before uh, we get to that, I'm going to explain to you a little bit how this is going to work. I also want to take a moment on behalf of myself, my executive producer, Barb Coons, and Pam McDougall, also from Class Action, our producer, um, to let you know those two ladies over there are the people you want to bug about being on our show. <laughs> right over there. And we also want, on behalf of Class Action, I want to thank the educators that are in uh, this room, because I know that this has been a difficult year for teachers. There's been a lot of talk about different things and issues, and education's been getting a bad rap, but we know there are fabulous teachers out there who pour their heart and soul every day into their classrooms, and we want to thank you for the work that you do. In fact, before I got here today, before I put my anchor woman outfit on, I was in my garage modge podging a step stool uh, with a class picture of my third grade teacher, my daughter's third grade teacher and her class, and I was stenciling on this uh, step stool that said, uh, an expression that says, a great teacher lets you step up to your potential. And that's the truth. Without the teachers, without all of us, without the parents, we're a great community together. We all have to step up, and that's what tonight is really about. It's about all of us stepping up. The state isn't stepping up. So as a community, as family members, as a foundation, and as Californians, it's our turn tonight, and as business people, to step up and give our teachers, our students, our children, the education that they deserve, and the opportunity to one day become a Mr. John Thompson. So here's what we're going to do. OK. I need to find Mr. Brian Kaplan. Brian, where are you? Jess. Oh. That is very loud. So Jessica, here I am. There you are. I'm in the back of the room. I think that uh, Ray Bingham said that he had the easiest job introducing John Thompson. I think I have the most difficult job, not because you're not going to stand up for education, but because I have to run around this room and uh, call your card number, so we'll see how well I do this, but go yes. ahead, Jessica. And I do have to tell you, Brian, that you should know that as I was coming up here, as Chuck Weiss was going down to sit at his chair, he came over and bragged to me that he did this job last year. <laughs> that is and true. And he was bragging about how much money he raised last year. So I ask you not only to step up to education tonight, but also step up and let's prove Chuck Weiss wrong, okay? Because he was bragging, he was all giving me, you know, telling me he was it, so we need to step up. So I want everybody to stand up right now. Don't, don't say no. Everybody stand up, stand up, Everybody's stand up. Everybody's going to stand, everybody. If not, we taser you, so stand up. Okay. Everybody stand up. Everybody has to stand up. Everybody get that fund a need card. You've got it there. Get your card. Wave it at me really quick. Don't worry. It's not me. I'm not going to charge your visa right now. So wave your card at me so I know you're paying attention. All right. The reason I wanted you all to stand up is because all of you in the audience today, every person that's here, has been standing up for education. And I want you to look around at each other and say thank you for standing up to education. Because we thank you for being involved here with us today and standing up for education. It's been great. Now, that's what right. I want thank you to you, do next. Thank you and don't leave. Don't, no, don't leave, no fire exit. Lock the door, whatever you do, close it down. So what I want to do next is, if you've already contributed to education and you feel that you really can't give any more, I want you to sit down. 
Just those people. The rest of you, I want you to stand up. Remember, I have my secret taser out there, and you'll have to say, don't tase me, dude. OK. <laughs> now give the people who sat down a big round of applause for standing up for education. So Jessica, Jessica, yes. I see a lot of people standing. All yes. of these people are going to be in at at least $100? Yes, that's what, that's what I was coming to. Great. If you're standing, that means that you are willing to contribute at least $100 to support the purchase of one school supply kit for a classroom. Classrooms need supplies. How many times have you heard the teachers say they don't have crayons for the teachers? I know I buy the wipes for my teacher's classroom so that we can clean the classroom. So how many of you tonight, wave, put your number up, if you are willing to give us $100 to fund at least one classroom kit for a classroom? It'll make a huge difference. Do you see this, Brian? I wave do. Wave those and, at me. And before, Jessica, just before uh, I actually call out the numbers, the folks that have lifted up their cards, we're hoping that some of you actually will stay with us for the next level, 250. So really, if you're gonna be exiting at $100, those are the cards that I wanna see up and I'm gonna call your name. So 261, 328, 257, those 260, 423, 325. Keep your card handy. This is for $100, 337, 129, 120, uh, 132, 126, 165, 157, 325, 423, 413, 188, 63, 165, 190, 189, 337, 209, 285, 214, 205, 300, 231, 380, 306, 228, 157, 156, 151. Is that 147 right there, Ricardo? Yes. 122, 113, and 209. And if that person in the very front at Trinet could turn their car that way, 81, 196, 194, 77, 74, 79, 135. Thank you all very much. Did I miss anybody? Brian, you have a career and as an And 573. Auctioneer. So thank you for your $100 commitment to uh, a classroom kit. So we still have people standing, Jessica. OK, so stay, stay standing. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. Because now, I want you to keep put your number up if you're willing to donate $250, which would go to support one middle school student to attend a three-day science workshop. As you can see how important science and engineering and all of that is here to Silicon Valley, that is why it is crucial and key that we give kids the opportunity to see what it's like to go. Okay, and so I see still a lot of people who are going to stay standing. The people exiting at the wonderful $250 level are John Fenswald, 535, 301, 294, 218, 220, 18, 17, 187, 265, 342, 46, and 181. Thank you all very much. Okay. And 74, 80, 92, thank you, Dan. And thank you, 390 and 468, thank you. Okay, and we need to see lots of people still standing, though, because now is when really we're getting to our important funding. Ready? So we're going to talk about $500. What can you get for $500? Well, most of the time you can go out to dinner for $500. But tonight here, $500 will send an entire class on a field trip. Field trips are critical to the type of learning that children can really do. I recently took my daughter to the Tech Museum for a field trip. They loved it. They couldn't believe that science also meant astronauts and motor vehicles and all sorts of fun things. So put your cards up if you're willing to send an entire class on a field trip. You remember what it was like to right. go on and, a field uh, trip. And just to, just to preview, the next level is $1,000. We hope we keep some people in. But going out at uh, $500, thank you very much. 217, 100, 207, 212, 197, in the front 77, and 266. Thank you very much. And 54, thank you very much. All right, as you heard Brian say, our next level is $1,000. This is key because $1,000 helps send one student to the Step Up to Algebra math program. That's what Jeremy, as you heard Alexis talk about the difference that this made in her life. How she's going to go on to be a pediatrician because of spending one summer doing Stepping Up to Algebra. That's the kind of difference that you can make in a child's life by raising your card right now. $1,000 to send a child to Step Up to Algebra this summer. Thank you so much. We have 422, 420, 421, 169. Thank you, Evan. Thank you, Maria, 174, 192, 271, 202, 203, 20, 240, 483. Thank you. Are we, now, are we ready to step up to the we're, next level? We're stepping up. We're stepping up. Now we're stepping up to $2,500.
$2,500, a donation of $2,500 puts on one education forum. That helps bring information, leadership around key issues having to do with education. Big ideas, big innovation requires big money. $2,500. It'll help educate parents, educators, the business community about what we need to do as a community to help children thrive. So $2,500, if you're willing to donate $2,500, please put your card up now. Cards up. Here's one this right here, great. Ryan. I'm slowly working my way towards the okay. head table, but over here we have 173. Thank you very much. We have uh, number 11. We have that's great. We still have plenty of people standing ready to move to the $5,000 level. Did, okay. it, did I miss anyone at $2,500? Here's one over here, Brian. Did you get 13? And, and I, will, I would like to say, uh, if you've already sat down and suddenly feel motivated, you can always pop right back up. That's a good idea. Like a jack-in-the-box. Just come up with your card. So now oh. we're at the $5,000 level. I love the $5,000 level because you heard Muhammad talk about Lessonopoly earlier and what a great tool that was for teachers and how it brings education and science to life. We did a show on class action about Lessonopoly and we couldn't believe how it made scientific theories come to life for kids. It was spectacular. So $5,000 will uh, fund and help fund the open source website that allows the teachers to go in and apply this lesson plan to them. So $5,000 is what we're looking for to fund Lessonopoly. Who will raise their card for $5,000? There's got to be I somebody. I love it. No, no, no. I love it. That means that we have Mr. Oh, Randy Pond, Faisal, we have uh, Ray Bingham, we have wonderful people at the head table who actually want to skip right over the $5,000 skip. level. We're skipping five. We're skipping And over. we're going to go right to $10,000. Let's 000. go to $10,000. Let's hear it for these folks that are still standing up. All right, $10,000. A donation of $10,000 can support 20 teacher innovation grants. Those are grants that encourage innovation in the classroom by helping teachers purchase the technology, purchase the tools that they need to be able to show their students things about STEM, math, science, enrich their lives, enrich their daily classroom experience, and maybe spark that one moment of innovation that could change their lives. So, so $10,000. I, I absolutely love the $10,000 level, but I like the next one as well. Yes. But we're going to exit and say thank you very much to Amy, uh, number 16, Faisal, number 30. Thank you very, very much. And we have right Shane. You. Thank you very much, number 24. And we still have, and I'm sorry, 268. What's your name? Michael Marks. Thank you very much, Michael. Yeah, thank it. you, Michael. So let's see, Jessica, we have uh, one, two, three, four. Should I count any of the SVF staffers who are standing? Probably, <laughs> pro probably not. So we have about four people left at the next level. Okay, so the next level is really the level that is just the gold, the brass ring for us. The next level is $25,000, $25,000. This will support an entire class, classroom of stepping up to algebra, all the students in that class. Imagine the difference that that can make. It's a great show of support for the work that they're doing here and for the great ideas that we have in Silicon Valley. Doing this for Alexis, for Guadalupe, and for Jeremy. If you're willing to give us $25,000, please raise your card. All right, thank you very much. Keep your cards up. I want to say, uh, Sandy, thank you very much. Ray Bingham, thank you very much. Randy Pond, thank you very much. Kay Matthews, thank you very, very much. I believe in that one motion, we just raised 100,000 additional dollars to support That's education, phenomenal. so thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for stepping up, and thank you for proving Chuck wrong. You all deserve a wonderful applause. Thank you so much for having me here today.